The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Voters mandated that one of every three dollars raised from taxing real estate transactions go to conserving land, but the election was barely official when the Senate president started questioning how the money might be spent. That 33 percent is coming from somewhere. Water is my number one issue. House Speaker Steve Cristofuli wants to use some of the money to fix leaking water pipes for cities. Both remarks set off fire bells for environmentalists. Then this past week, Governor Rick Scott was the lone no vote on a land purchase. Scott wanted to offer just 90 percent of the lowest appraised value. Uh, I think we can do a better job for the taxpayers of the state. Now the fear is that lowballing willing sellers will send them into the arms of developers. The governor did not want to pay appraised value. Is it, do you think that's a problem in the future? Um, it could be. I mean, we'll see. It remains to be seen. Once the funding becomes available, then we're hoping that we will see more projects coming forward, too. University of Florida environmental researcher Dr. Peter Frederick spent his last day on a little-known board that will set priorities for land purchases under Amendment 1. I really don't think that uh, there's anything in that, in what we saw as voters, that would lead you to use it for other purposes. Including leaky water pipes in some big cities? <laughs> That's right. Environmentalists remain skeptical. Their watchword is straight out of a Harry Potter novel, Ever Vigilant. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.